Moab and headed towards Yellowstone's West Gate. But first we'd need to stay one night uh, on the way. It was all going well until we turned the corner and saw smoke. We'll show you that and more after the Tree Talker the Traveler intro. As we got closer, we started to realize that maybe our campground was actually on fire. Turns out that the hillside above the campground was on fire and was being fought by planes. That was fun to watch, but made us a little bit nervous. We asked the campground about it and they said they would let us know if the fire continued down the hill and we needed to evacuate, but to stay hooked up just in case. Needless to say, I didn't get a lot of rest that night. We made it out alive, thankfully, and on the road to Yellowstone, we saw some foreshadowing. We stayed at a campground near West Yellowstone entrance, and we found it most convenient to go in early in the morning and then again in the evening when the animals were moving and the crowds were low. On one of the days, we took our camper into the park so we could eat and nap. It was nice to have the camper to park near a creek and watch the wildlife. But if you take the camper, you can only take certain roads. So we left it at the campground for other days so that we could go to those places. One of the first things you'll notice when you get into Yellowstone is that there's thermal activity everywhere. We are just looking around this morning and we found a paint pot. Look, look, this one is a fun place to explore, but heed the signs warnings. Despite signs like this warning you to stay on the pass, we saw more than one person attempting to walk across the thermal hot spots. Probably not the best idea. One of our family's favorite things at Yellowstone was the mud pots. This was my first time to ever see a mud pot. I found them fascinating and actually enjoyed looking at them and listening to the weird sounds they made. After exploring some of the smaller thermal areas, we went to some of the geysers. Most people are aware of Old Faithful and want to go see it, and it's worth seeing, but there's many geysers in the park, and some of them are just as impressive and have way fewer crowds. some trees that have been petrified by the thermal process. And of course there is wildlife and waterfalls everywhere. We'll get to the wildlife later, but right now let's focus on finishing the thermal spots. As you know, you can't go to Yellowstone without seeing Old Faithful. It's definitely worth seeing too, but we highly recommend you go early in the morning before the crowds get there. Why we take a moment to watch Old Faithful? Wow. 
can't beat this. River going outside. Everybody set up ready to eat. Yep. What are we having? Uh, taco scrambled eggs. Taco scrambled eggs. That's good. Like it sounds like playing and doing your own business, being funny or whatever. Like probably. What do you want to drink? Is it cold? So get in it. We are at a rapid and it's pretty beautiful. Now let's head north to explore the northern entrance. Right before the northern entrance is Mammoth Hot Springs. It's one of the family's favorite places that we walk around. The north entrance was full of elk. It was worth the drive. One of the highlights of the trip was seeing an elk feed its young. On the way home, we had a massive scare. Well, that is true, because a bison is massive. <laughs> this bison was a good reminder that you have to always be on the lookout for wildlife in Yellowstone. In fact, bison were everywhere. This is one that we saw swimming up while we were in our camper taking a lunch break. In fact, when you're in Yellowstone and you hit a traffic jam, it means that there's animals up ahead to see as all the cars slow down to take a look. While we loved bison and elk, we really wanted to see a bear. We've been looking for a bear for two days with no luck. And it just so happens, in our last day, we saw two. We got a video of this one right across the river. Thanks for tuning in. Next on the Going Out West series is Mount Rushmore in the Badlands. And if y'all enjoyed the uh, 
the trip so far? Yes. <laughs> What's bothering you? Are you little Jimmy? No. <laughs> what is she are. talking about? Who is She's little like, Jimmy? His role play character in Rat Battle. <laughs> what? <laughs> I like this vacation. Okay, now I'm going to drink all this milk. We will cherish this moment forever. <laughs>